Welcome back everybody, it's Ollie from Flight Comp and I have a new model to show you today. This is a new sport model from CCM in Ukraine. Uh, CCM is owned by Alexander Czech. Super nice dude, so I highly recommend you patronize CCM and support the guy because he's been busting his butt trying to keep his business going through a war and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, if you can, if you're looking for a new model, it might be a good way to go wherever you are in the world. I'm sure you can order one somewhere and get your hands on one. This is a Liber Toy. So, Liber Toy. Um, what is a Liber Toy? Well, it's a 2.4, 2.4-ish meter thermal glider sport model. And it comes about when you take a Liberty F5J plane and you mash it up with a toy 2 meter glider, you get a Liber Toy. Because the tails, horizontal rudder, are from a toy 2 meter. And the tip panels here are basically the tip panels from the Liberty F5J. Obviously it has aileron and flap instead of just one aileron. And they've installed a, a new servo bay out here to get you at four servos in the entire wing. And it uses the same boom as the toy 2 meter with a new uh, a nose pod or front section of the fuselage that's uh, extended so it's longer back here and has a longer nose for the uh, 2.4 meter model. So let's get the camera set up and get a closer look at some of these parts. Alright, let's start off with the wing. So here is the right panel. Super high quality as we've come to expect from CCM. It's got pre-installed uh, fiberglass machine G10 horns and the flaps and the ailerons here and it's got the servo ramen IDS parts installed so the tray and the arm the servo horn are all servo ramen but the horns in the surfaces are CCM parts very very nice it's got very nice uh, molded wipers that are you know uh, kind of color match to whatever graphic you get so this in this case it's orange and these wing parts are hollow molded they're not solid core so we have aileron and flap and then at the root we have a multiplex connector we have a ballast slot here and the wing joiner that goes into the spar and the weight of the wing panels are uh, 236 grams for the right wing and 234 grams for the left wing. I'll show you the other panel real, real quick. Identical. We can get a close up of the servo bays. Now this is how it comes. Um, I believe you can uh, select what IDS you want installed. Um, these are for KST, so X10 Mini on the flap and X08 out on the ailerons. You could probably re request a MKS or some other alternative if you wanted, but we'll mostly be ordering um, KST setups. And then we have the tail. This isn't new. You'd recognize this from the toy 2 meter X tail same exact part this is a solid core foam part and the weight of the elevator is 24 grams vertical stabilizer with rudder again solid core part same as the the toy two meter uh, this guy is 18 grams and then we'll go on to the fuselage here so like I said before this this nose pod is all new and the boom section is from the toy 2 meter. This is an X tail. There will be a V tail option coming soon. And uh, I'm sure that the V tail model will use the V tails from the toy 2 meter. Here is how the servos install in the boom. So these are molded recesses for X08H. Probably a A08 might work as well in there. And the push rods are pre-installed. 
And very nice detail on the back end for the X-tail. Two ball links back here to hook up the rudder and elevator, so it's very simple to hook up at the field. The uh, front section or nose pod, it's got this snap-in canopy. Uh, wiring harness for the wing pre-installed with the multiplex connectors. The canopy snaps in very nicely. 30 millimeter uh, diameter nose that's pre-cut from the factory. Um, I'm not sure about the thrust angle. That's something you might have to play with. And then back here we have where it mounts to the boom. Extremely nice detail on these parts. And the weight of the boom combined with the nose pod is 178 grams. So this is uh, like a standard layup, which I would assume is the light. Although the parts, if I feel the tip, the wing panels and compare them to like a Liberty F5J panels, um, they feel a little stronger, a little heavier. So this, I think this isn't, this is not a super light part. Now check this out. This model came, I'm not sure, I'm sure this is not standard, but this model came with three different joiners. So we have a very flat joiner, which is a six degree. And then we have a eight degree joiner and a 12 degree joiner. So something you can definitely experiment with. Maybe if you want to carry a little bit of ballast and do some aerobatics and sport flying, you can go with the flat joiner. Or if you want to do some light slope flying, um, don't fly this in really heavy winds if you have the standard layup. It's not that strong. Um, so yeah, sport sport flying with the with the low degree, the six degree, and you can experiment with the eight and twelve for for thermal flying. A lot of lot a lot of guys out there like those high high degree joiners. And this model did ship with a ballast kit. This is not the standard option. You have to purchase these separately. Um, very nice ballast kit. Uh, I've been used to seeing sort of molded tin lead ballast for a lot of the CCM planes. So seeing this machine, these machine slugs is really cool. It's got some aluminum slugs here. Six of those. They're very light. Light ballast. And then it's got some brass slugs. So this thing is capable of carrying a lot of ballast. Again, with the layup, I'm not sure if I would push it, um, but you, know, I, 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 you could definitely throw uh, several ounces of ballast in the model, no problem. So the joiners all weigh um, 34 grams, and the combined weight of the empty parts is 724 grams, or about 25.5 uh, ounces. And I would imagine um, the gear required to get this thing flying, probably 10 to 12 ounces. So you'd be looking at a flying weight, you know, maybe 36 to 38 ounces. So very light for a sport model. I think it would thermal extremely well. And that's going to be around uh, 1,040 to 1,070 grams. Um, yeah, so I think just for, uh, just for, Casual, fun thermal flying, this thing would be fantastic. I know I'm a little familiar with the airfoil because I've flown the Liberty 5J and 3J models, and it's a slightly thicker airfoil than um, some of the uh, modern solid core wing F5J planes. So I would think this model at this weight would be spectacular. Doesn't really need to be that much lighter. Every model comes with uh, protective covers, so you get them for the rudder and elevator. You get a pretty good fuselage bag as well, and you get obviously you get the the wing bags here with the nice embroidered logo on them. Um, doesn't come with an extensive hardware pack because you really don't need anything. So all you get are two clevises for the Fuselage servos, if you want to use those, I would use ball links or L-bends instead. And then you just get the uh, servo covers for the wing bays. 
because yeah there's really nothing else that you you would need you will have to purchase separately a motor mount or make your own for whatever motor you might be using up here so that's something you'll have to think about good motor options for this would be the X power light motors direct drive or perhaps the Viper 10 shock uh, 10 20 12 turn geared motor or one of the power line um, you know the Schombeck light motors that you might use for an F5J model I think those would all be really good options or you could order a heavy layup or a strong and put a little more uh, put a motor with a little more pep in it maybe a four, four cell setup and have kind of a warm liner so a couple, couple ways to go with this model alright guys hope you enjoyed this short video on the Libertoy from CCM uh, we're working on some other things as well we have some paradigm builds coming up and we have some more F5J motor testing and potentially a few more uh, new model videos for you so hey if you want to do me a favor hit the subscribe button because most of you guys that watch aren't subscribed and apparently there's some kind of algorithm thing or whatever that might help the channel grow if you actually subscribe so you'd be doing me a huge favor with that and I will catch you guys in the next video bye